Hi, my name is Felipe Coimbra and I'll be presenting a video abstract for our work Team Modeling with Deep Behavioral Cloning for the RoboCop 2D Soccer Simulation League. Soccer is a rich environment for research, and it's typically used as a test bed for new ideas and technologies. It is at the same time a controlled environment with specific rules and limitations, in a complex multi-agent stochastic real-time domain, with each player receiving a localized noisy perspective of the world. RoboCup is a research community that, among other areas, supports World Cup competitions in robot soccer, where the Soccer Simulation 2D League, also known as Soccer 2D, stands out as one of the oldest cohorts. In Soccer 2D, agents play the game in a 2D simulated environment. They receive an incomplete view of the world, filled with discretized information that is stochastically served to the player. However, there is also a special mode called Full State, where the player receives complete information. The agent communicates with a central server, through a set of predefined commands that serve as noisy actuators to act upon the world. There are many commands, but our work focuses on the four main ones. Dash, responsible for accelerating the player in a certain direction with a given power. Turn, that rotates the player by a certain angle. Kick, that is executed against the ball, applying an acceleration in a given direction with a given power. And Tackle, used for stealing the ball from opponents by applying a pre-calculated acceleration on the ball in a given direction. In the Soccer 2D domain, a very important component of competitive teams is the ability to model other teams. Competitive teams can use a team model, for example, to improve their own play and predict online opponent behavior. However, one of the most common approaches to building team models consists of handcrafting heuristics into the agent's code. These are very time-consuming and error-prone. Because of that, they tend to be an oversimplification that don't work well with adaptive teams and do not scale to multiple teams. We propose to combine an imitation learning formulation of this problem with elements of the deep learning framework. We switch to a data-driven approach, well suited in a simulated environment such as Soccer 2D, where data mining is relatively straightforward. Using machine learning to create team models requires building a data pipeline that can be reused to any number of teams. At the same time, we don't need to encode different scenarios. We focus on devising a thorough and reproducible training procedure that generalizes to unseen situations. In our work, we use behavioral cloning, an imitation learning flavor, to imitate the field players of a team. In behavior cloning, the model learns to imitate a target expert by leveraging action state pairs. The state of the agent is used as input to the model, that outputs the action the agent should take. In our case, the state translates to positions, velocities, and body directions of the players in the field, whereas the action will be the command type to execute and the parameters to that command. Given an action state dataset, we are able to teach the model to imitate the expert's map function with a typical gradient-based supervised learning. For that, we generate datasets for training, validation, and testing. In our work, we mine 1,400 matches of the Japanese team Alios against multiple opponents. The log files generated are then passed through the multiple stages of our processing data pipeline, generating 290 gigabytes of plain text tables in the end. We use the same pipeline to also generate data of Alios against other teams not seen during training, in order to assess if the final model performs consistently in new situations. Each generated data point consists of 119 input features describing the complete world, plus a redundant replication of the properties of the player issuing the command. The output consisted of seven columns describing the action of one player's player with its action parameters. This means that every frame in the match generated 10 data points for the 10 field players of values. A single neural network operating on these data points learns to imitate any player instead of having 10 neural networks, one for every player. We train a two-head neural network, meaning that there is weight sharing between the paths that output the action type and the parameters for the action. Therefore, our cost function combines a classification loss and regression loss during training. We use ReLU activation functions for the hidden layers, soft MAC activation for the classification output, and hyperbolic tangent activations for the regression outputs, since the action parameters are inside a bounded interval. Our analysis showed that our pipeline generates data that covers well the state space of the problem. The 1400 matches with the single neural net design results in over 60 million data points. Our deep learning model was able to achieve an accuracy of 84.5% on action selection and had no signs of overfitting. Also, we achieve a significantly low mean absolute error of 0.069 for the regression target. For visualization purposes, this would be equivalent to around 7 units of power in dash and kick commands, or 12 degrees in the direction parameter. This is a worst case scenario, since the error is calculated over all actions, whether selected or not. 
Deep dive into the classification results, we see that dash and turn commands concentrate most of the accuracy of the model, which means that the network is better suited for movement models only. We also see large space for improvement with turn commands, likely because of data quality issues. Finally, the trained model showed negligible depreciation in performance when evaluated outside of its training distribution. The accuracy, for example, decreased to 84% when atoms played against teams it had not seen during training. We conclude that our modeling approach is efficiently scalable and can be reused for generating multiple models for many teams. The models are also effective, achieving reasonably good accuracy with low regression errors. Most importantly, the neural network showed negligible depreciation against out-of-distribution data. For future work, we believe the models can be effectively employed for online opponent prediction, but there is also space for improving its performance with class balancing techniques. Multi-step mutation is also an interesting area to be investigated.